<laughs> when are we going back with the others? Pardon me? Quit with the pardon me. I want to go back with the others right now. I think that you're mistaken. Oh. What an adorable little sheep. You're so clean and white, aren't you? Whatever. Can you tell that mongrel shepherd to move his butt? I want to be with the other sheep. What do you mean, mongrel shepherd? This is Alfred, and he's not a shepherd dog. Of course he's a shepherd dog. Are you blind or what? I want to go with the others, now! Don't worry, Rita. It's obvious that this little sheep is lost and has me confused with her shepherd dog. Well, let's see. Have you lost your flock? No! I'm with the shepherd dog. It's the other sheep who are lost. But this isn't your shepherd dog. It's my Alfred. So is he your boyfriend or what? No, uh, he's, uh, he's... Rita is my friend. You don't have to explain anything to me. If you're in love, that's your business. I already said no! Your girlfriend has some temper. So will you take me to the others, or do I have to go alone? I would love to go with you, but right now I'm waiting for my friends to meet me so we can go and have some tea. Do as you like. I'll go alone. <laughs> Alfred, Rita told us that there's a lost sheep around here. That assumption is correct. The sheep went over that way. How could you let her go all alone? It's almost time for tea. But Alfred, she's lost and all alone. You have to go and help her. Where has the poor little thing gone? She must be so alone without her family. Now I feel awful for having let her go alone. The poor little thing. Look, she's over there under the tree. Are you all right, little sheep? It's about time. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes for that mongrel to lead me to the rest of the sheep. You're very mistaken. This <clears throat> mongrel, as you call him, is Alfred, and he's our friend. He is not your shepherd dog. That can't be. Then I'm... I'm lost! I will never see my family ever again. Somebody needs to comfort me. I'm so sad. Little sheep, we'll help you find them. Get away, mongrel. This is all your fault. Don't worry. We'll help you get back to your family. Do you remember any particular place you went to every day? Now that I think about it, yes, I do remember. There's a place nearby with a river and a big pink rock. Well, I don't know where that is. Nope. Um, neither do I, Milo. I know exactly where that location is, but I don't think I want to help this sheep. She's been very unpleasant this whole time. I'm sorry, sweet mongrel. What I mean to say is, knight in shining armor, please guide me to my home and I will reward you with a great big kiss. Come on, Alfred, be nice to her. The poor thing's lost. All right, then. But don't expect me to accept one single kiss. Lead the way, Alfred. We'll all follow you. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We've been walking for quite a while, and I don't see anything that looks familiar. Don't worry, Olga. We're almost there now. Are we there yet? We have reached our destination. What a beautiful place. And look at all the sheep. Yes, it's very pretty. Look, there's a dog coming this way. Who could it be? It's Alfreda. She's my shepherd dog. Huh? What? Alfreda? I've brought you all the way out here, and to top it all off, you call me Alfreda? Have you no shame? Alfreda is the dog who's coming over here, and she's a girl. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend, and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> ahem, ahem. Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me, and I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. 
Which one is Alfred? He's the one sitting behind me, Lo. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. There's really no need for reward. It has been my pleasure to help such a friendly and kind sheep find a way home. But... You must get rewarded every once in a while. It's not necessary, thank you. Okay, as you wish. At any rate, thank you, friends. I know you weren't interested in any reward, but you could have accepted the kiss, couldn't you? I'm a gentleman, and a gentleman doesn't accept kisses in exchange for anything. Even though, it would have been nice to receive a kiss from such a lovely damsel. Psst, psst. <gasps> <laughs> Strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll see there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... don't exist. There must be a logical explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters. And all of a sudden, we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. <sighs> They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with No! Them? There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all! Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye! Uh, that lion's gonna eat all of us. 
I think that we better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Mumu, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh, don't do it. If you mess with the lion, don't he's going to no. take revenge on us. <laughs> Us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> huh? We all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! 